Hey Aries, you need to know this right now for December the 27th through December the 28th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for December the 27th through December the 28th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for December the 27th through December the 28th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for December the 27th through December the 28th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together, or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones, or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Aries. Clarify the Empress. For Aries. Clarify the Empress. For Aries. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Aries could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance for Aries. Clarified temperance. For Aries. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. Now Aries, listen. You can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. You know, Aries, it could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here concerning your abundance. It may be some type of travel here for your abundance and you're debating here. Aries, you can tell me that you're debating on whether or not you want to heal things, mend things, work things out, and nurture the relationship further with this person and just let bygones be bygones. 
or whether or not you just want to move out, move on and move away from the relationship and heal individually on your own. You could also tell me that someone here was juggling. And this is the reason for the question. Aries, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aries could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil by Aries. Clarify the devil by Aries. Clarify the devil by Aries. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aries, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but this can also be in an agreement. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that this is about a legal binding contract, some type of an agreement, but it may require some type of travel. You're getting this good news, but I feel like you're maybe having to make a decision here or compromise or negotiate or something. Aries, you could also tell me that they may be coming into you or you them, but there's temptation here. To come back around again. Because you guys have this soulmate connection. Could also be some type of distance between you guys. Something that requires some type of travel here. Aries, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone. To do some soul searching, introspection. Searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance. Going within, looking for answers. So Aries, could be dealing with a Virgo. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on the solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Aries, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now, Aries, listen, you could be getting some type of victory success here, but you're thinking long and hard about it. Like I said, it could require some type of travel here. Aries, you can tell me that maybe you're thinking long and hard about getting their attention or making an announcement. Or you're thinking long and hard about what they said to you here. Okay, 
Aries, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces. But you can tell me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Okay. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders, something is a burden here for you. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending, this is you wanting to release a burden. So Aries, I feel like you're burdened by the stagnation, or just hanging in the balance here. Because I feel like you're telling me I need to decide because I need to make a move here. Hmm. Like I said, whether this is work or business or relationship, Aries, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. It is clarified with the devil again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Capricorn. But you can tell me that something is toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can be about a legal, can even speak, a legal binding contract, but also temptation. I can't. Clarify the devil for Aries. Clarify the devil for Aries. I just got so tongue-tied, for real. Clarify the devil for Aries. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Aries, listen, I feel like you're all up in your head fantasizing here. Very well could tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. You know, Aries, listen, I feel like maybe there's something else you need to get to the bottom of concerning a legal binding contract. Maybe you're looking into this or something was illuminated about it. I feel like it's some type of travel here for work or business and our agreement here. However, Aries, I feel like you're all up in your head fantasizing here, wanting to be happy and to go into some type of legal binding contract with this person because you realize that they're your soulmate and you want to solidify this relationship. But the problem is there's you're, you're wanting to make a move, but it's a debating, and it's a thinking, and it's a hanging, and it's a burden to you. So it just makes me feel like, hmm, I don't know if you just are not communicating at the moment with this person, and you don't know where they stand, and that is what's causing you stagnation, but I feel like you're ready. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says waves, emotions coming and going. Waves, emotions coming and going. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? And it says, lockbox, closed in, trap, frustrated. Lockbox, closed in, trap, frustrated. I think you are frustrated. You know, I, I feel like you're trapped with your own thoughts here. Because it's just emotions here. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's you. 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 I feel like communication will solve all of that. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. 
Aries, you need to know this right now for December the 27th through December the 28th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.